adventures. It's another beautiful day here in New England and it inspires me to get out and ride. Today I chose to get out and ride on the Ducati Monster 1100 Evo. And uh, we're gonna have a nice ride. So come on along, we'll see what we can do. Talk about a few things. Have a great time. beautiful day to go for a motorcycle ride and I just wanted to give you a, a few pointers on uh, what to do before you jump on your motorcycle and get going. Uh, I'll show you what I check on mine uh, before I jump on it and take a nice ride. So uh, stay tuned and you'll see what I do. One of the first things I like to do is to check my chain tension and uh, in order to do that on the Ducati here I've got to uh, get the wheel up off the ground. Put this uh, paddock stand in. And uh, get it up. There we go. And as we can see over here, you can get your chain. The designated tension. And you can see that the chain's condition is uh, well lubricated. And we check the tension by measuring from this point right here down to the top of the chain. And I can see that it's one and a half inches. And that is just the right distance it's supposed to be according to the chart that's here on the swing arm. So once you get your chain adjusted, you got to make sure that it's properly lubricated. This is the chain lube that I use. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out yourself. You basically put it on the chain like with the applicator right here and turn the wheel as you're dispensing the chain lube onto the chain. You Make a couple of revolutions on the chain, and then it's uh, properly lubricated. You can take a rag and uh, wipe any excess off. I usually put a, a towel down here to uh, prevent any excess from going on the driveway. And uh, that's how it gets done. Another thing to check is your oil level. And most modern motorcycles have a sight glass, uh, no dipstick to look at. So you can see that my oil level is just at the top line, which is the proper place to have it. And uh, making sure that oil is in the right level is important for the motor's operation. It's important to check your tire pressure before you take your bike out for a ride. And that's one of the items that I check. And uh, nice to have a little air compressor with you at your shop. You just uh, it looks like I could use like a pound in there. That's about it. Put your protective cap back on and you check that tire pressure. And you got to check your front tire also. That one's just about right. It's important to look at your tires also while you're checking the air pressure. Make sure that uh, there's no damage to your tires that you haven't noticed. I mean, you could possibly run over something and maybe put a, a little gash in or 
or the side walls get damaged. But uh, it's important to look over other parts of your motorcycle also. Like uh, check your exhaust system, make sure it's all tight and look for any possible loose bolts or nuts on there. And check your, uh, your brake fluids. You should check your brake fluids and make sure that they're in the proper level. And uh, some, some motorcycles have a hydraulic clutch like this one. And you check that fluid also. And uh, make sure your clips are on the, the nut that holds your tire on. And generally just look over the motorcycle and make sure that it's uh, ready to ride. Well, that was a quick check over of the uh, critical areas of your motorcycle you want to make sure are working properly and adjusted right and the proper tire pressure and uh, everything looks fine so one thing I'd like to do before I ride my motorcycle especially on a Ducati they recommend that you warm it up and there's a little uh, uh, temperature uh, indicator up here for the engine heat and you run the engine until it hits the two bars and once it hits the two bars it's ready to ride uh, that's to make sure that all the oil is circulated through the motor and before you just hop on it with a cold motor you should warm it up a little bit so do that right now uh, this is uh, the temperature area where you can check your temperature of your engine while you're warming it up Right there shows the uh, temperature of the motor. Also, in, further inside the uh, instrument settings, you can actually see the uh, degrees. There it goes. Now it's warmed up and ready to ride. Now it's getting milder. And down here again at the Mary's Creek location. You can hear the New York train go by. <laughs> yep. Looks like low tide also. Fire this baby up and let's get going. Thank you.
Surrey riding this uh, Ducati Monster. It's quite thrilling. It has a, a tremendous amount of torque. So when you crank on the throttle, it propels you forward like, like instantly. a fun little springtime ride the temperature gets up over the 50 degree range uh, starts feeling pretty nice out on a motorcycle wow beautiful horse farm down here yep And these winding roads are made made for the Ducati <laughs> or any sport bike for that matter. Well, something about the springtime, boy, makes you feel enthusiastic. Maybe it's because uh, you, you know, you have the restriction of the weather all winter long, and then uh, you get those warm days, and uh, it inspires you to get out and enjoy them. Now, I do ride year-round, but. I have to bundle up, put on a lot of uh, warm gear, heated gears, and uh, it's just not, doesn't feel the same. Well, the road uh, that I just uh, came off of is very close to uh, the motorcycle shop, so can't go by the motorcycle shop without stopping. I gotta check on a pot that I have down ordered down here anyway, so. at the candy store <laughs> let's see what we can find for models that are just released oh that's right I'm here to get a part I <laughs> all right stay tuned look what's sitting right out here as I pulled up uh, Ducati scrambler and it's got uh, 
Quite a few little extras on it too. Custom exhaust. Got a luggage rack on it. Nice color. Eleven hundred also. Wow. That's a sweet bike. Not too tall either. Ducati Scrambler 1100. Here at Razy's Cycles. Boy, they have quite a selection of motor Guzzi's and BMWs. Yamahas. And this is just part of it. They have another warehouse of motorcycles in another location. So, always oh, nice to stop in here and check out some of the unique motorcycles that are in the owner's collection. Oh, that's right. I'm here to get a part. I better go up to the parts department. Just a little look at the uh, showroom. Looking for an old vintage uh, Ducati. There's one right there. Next to a new Ducati Monster. Well, that was a that was a tempting trip to uh, stop here at the uh, at the motorcycle shop. Oh, boy, well, I suppose there's worse things to be addicted to. But uh, there's some nice models here for sale, and uh, definitely got me thinking. Well, I get on the road and uh, head back to where we came from.
Oh, it's another little park down here in uh, in the uh, Wickford area. Nice, nice place to stop and to take a breather. Beautiful view of the uh, the inner cove over here in the Wickford Harbor area. Oh, looks like the little sailing club's out there getting ready to go sailing. That time of the year. That was a fun ride on the uh, on the Ducati 1100 Evo, and boy, it is really a monster <laughs> um, compared to the other motorcycles that I own. Uh, this is the uh, the most aggressive and, uh, and and rough feeling motorcycle. Rough in a good way, though. It uh, it definitely gives you a, a thrill when you ride the motorcycle. So if you're ever thinking about riding the Ducati. Uh, even the older ones, like the 2013 here, it's still got plenty of uh, performance. And the newer ones, uh, they must be amazing. I haven't tried one out yet, but uh, maybe in the future. But anyways, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, well, leave some comments. And give us a like button if you want. And uh, we'll be seeing you on the next video. Hopefully a little warmer weather, too.